Hi, my name is Mark Romero. I live in Roscoe, New York, and right here in Lakeview, Arkansas. And what I've got here, I'm going to tell you, a saltwater fly that's good for bonefish, redfish, just about anything small, not too big a fish. And uh, I'm using a hairline dubbing steelhead salmon hook, silver plated, number two. It's uh, actually the only thing I had today to, to tie with on this, making this kind of fly. Normally I'd use a saltwater hook, probably must add. And uh, I've already got the thread on the hook. I'm going to use some dubbing that's from Wapsi. I'm going to use some Krennic thread material for the tag and the rib. And then I'm going to use some whiting saddle hackle for the wing. And a green dumbbell eye. And that's it. That's the whole fly. So I just uh, start with the Krennic thread. Let's get it on the hook. Lash it down. Make a bit of a tag. It's three or four turns, four turns, five turns. Tie it off. Get it out of your way. I didn't completely cover every single bit of the, the hook. There's little gaps in there when I first put the thread on, so I'm filling them up now to a degree. Not totally, but it doesn't make any difference. Just get a good thread base. If you got a few little tiny gaps, it's no big deal. Fish will never see that. Take some dubbing. You can do a loop if you want. You can uh, do a noodle. You can actually dub the thread. I usually just get it started as best I can. I'd have to put a few extra turns in and I didn't. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Just keep pulling the thread out as you need it. Every time you make a wrap, you're going to make a twist in the thread, so it's pretty durable. You're also going to pick this out after you finish the fly. This is a fast way to do it. You can make it as thick as you want. It doesn't matter. The thicker, the better, because you can, you can really pick it out. Might just a tiny bit more. Don't need much. You can actually dub this right on the thread. And do your rib. Seat the rib real well. Get it buried down in there a bit. Don't completely hide it, but make sure it's really in there. Doesn't matter how many turns at all. It's a fast fly, that's what's good about it. It's easy and fast. Might want to build up just a little more of a platform. The wing's gonna sit too high if you if you have a bump here. So what you wanna do is just smooth this out a little bit. Make it as level as you can. Just take the saddle hackle and get a couple rounded tips, a couple feathers with rounded tips. A couple from the same area of the neck that, so they match up as much as you can get them to match up. You don't even need to clean them off. You just get the tips even and tie them in. There you go. Once the tips are even, that's all you got to do. You can pull that out of the way a little bit if you want. Measure it. 
just a little past the bend. Real easy. I like to use my middle finger when I do this. Soft loop. Come down once, pull straight up, and crank down. That's all you got to do. Real simple. Trim out these butts as much as you can. You can actually use them as a foundation for, for your uh, over foundation. That's the under foundation. In other words, you're going to bind them all down and make a platform for the eye. The reason I do the eye last on this fly is because it just makes it easier to mount the wing if I don't have the eye in the way when I'm doing that. Get them on there with a figure eight, that's all you gotta do. Of course, whenever you do a figure eight, always make sure that you do some turns that stay completely above the shank to lock the other turns in, staying on top of the shank. and then go back to figure eighting in both directions. Do a few more locking turns above the shank. And then you can use any kind of head cement you want. Doesn't much matter. If you're going to fish in salt water, you might want to use loons. You might want to use epoxy. You can do whatever you want. The fish doesn't care. I crowded the eye just a little bit on this. But the, you'll have no problem getting the leader in there. Normally, I use Sally Hansen's and hard as nails or with nylon. Just about anything will work. Put a lot of coats on there. This is hard-headed. It's actually water-based. Better for the environment. Dries real shiny. It's nice stuff. There he is. Where's Paulson? There he is, right there. How's it going, buddy? I like these kind of eyes. You can paint them and put pupils on them if you want. Also, one more thing you got to do. Pick out the body. Pick out the dubbing. The more you pick it out, the better. Wasatch makes a great tool that's a dentist tool, and it's very dangerous. All you do is scrape, scrape along the sides. Don't bust your rib and pick it out like crazy. The more you pick it out, the better. You can't overdo this. Do it on both sides, of course. Try not to break your rib. And just keep picking and picking and picking until you're satisfied with it. That's it. <laughs>